Yeah. I mean, my sisters are going to be here. One of my sisters is turning 40 this uh, Thursday. Tight. What is it? Tomorrow. Yes. And so they're coming. We're going to go to Palm Springs on Sunday and hang out for a couple of days and be together and come back. And the girls want to do a podcast. Okay. So I may do that with them once we get back. Are so, they going to be on the couch? I mean, they can. <laughs> <laughs> but I may just like talk to them for a little while. I you don't should. think they, I don't, out. I don't know that they really know. They're not going to know what to do. I mean, I still don't know what to do. You know, you, do you play this angle that just because you're not used to this whole, whatever you've been doing a podcast for a long, a long time. time. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right <laughs> about that. But you know what to do. You have grabbed the reins on several occasions. You've done shows by yourself. Mm -hmm. You put up the thing, you know, you know, you're a podcast person. Did you already tell them that you got recognized on the streets no, of I did not. Austin? T text us. drive in texas um you while we were on the street mm -hmm. i had a show with ali makovsky did you already talk about I, I talked about your shows and that you featured for ali makovsky one and only ali makovsky which Can't hold on a second know. pause yes. uh Happy that birthday. night thank you that night we actually got to meet our hundred dollar sponsor yes Josh Wilkinson. Yes. And he was fucking awesome. He was fucking great. Man. So there's his shout out for the month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and next time I'm coming to stay with you, homie. <laughs> we'll tell the story every podcast yes. for the next month. And then, yeah, so we're sitting outside after Mike's show. And some guy is like, you. I recognize you. He recognized Mike. Pointing to me and my lovely wife. He's like you, and then he turns over to me, and he's like, "And you?" He's like, "I'm drawing a blank, drawing a blank on your name," and he's like pointing at Mike, and I'm just standing there, like laughing at him, and like wasted. So with the eyes Hammer. that are like looking a million miles yeah. into the future, and, and it, the <laughs> kind of the he swears he's standing still, but he looks like yeah. he's on a cruise ship. Yeah. And then like the back of his hair, he must have taken a nap before he went out. On the sidewalk. So it's like his hair is just like standing straight up back here, you know? <laughs> Little rooster. He'd been drinking all day. He had to have been. Because mm -hmm. he went to the races too. You know when you're just tired. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, as you know, he's like, I see, I watch your stuff. I'm like He's like, you guys. He was talking about podcast. specific like, clips. Yeah. And he was like, you were talking at, uh, to me about how you weren't cool. And yeah. you were trying to say you were cool. Yeah. And then he, as he was like, he's like, so good to meet you, you know, whatever. He looks at me and he points at me. He's like, Zoe, right? <laughs> so close, man. <laughs> so close. Zoya. He's like, Zoya. And like, like is walking away. He was yeah. like, he was saying, it was almost like, I'm trying to get his general attitude, was like, hey, do you nice. know where the pizza place is? Yeah, yeah. And then we said, uh, and he was like, I thought it was one block up. And then you said two blocks up. Mm -hmm. And he goes, that's it. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. That was the exact um, personality yeah. mindset. Yeah. Because he was like, Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, so close, man. Zoe. And he's like, that's it. Yeah. And then he just walked away. Yeah. Like he knew he was going to see us there and he felt bad for screwing up your name. Yeah. It was very funny. Yeah. Yeah. It was great because but we were talking about on the way back mm -hmm. that we don't, this podcast isn't about anything in particular. Right. And it's just us kind of bullshitting. Mm -hmm. So any kind of audience that we've amassed mm -hmm. just kind of likes listening to us yeah. talk to each other. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's the only selling yep. point of this podcast. Yeah. Couldn't really make it into a TV show. No. Nope. <laughs> because comedian and a hairdresser love each other very much. Yeah. That's the premise. Yeah. And we talk about, we know that people listen because mm -hmm. we talk to so many of mm -hmm. you. But also it kind of seems like it's... To no one. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think <laughs> it would just be what we were doing yeah. anyway. Yeah. In all honesty, dude, if this was like we, if there was no lights or cameras or action mm -hmm. and microphones, 
this would and we were like we were ordered by like couples therapy or whatever like you sit down for an hour a week and talk to each other once a week this it would be the same conversation yeah. more or less yeah so we were talking about it on the the drive um to the next place that we were like it's so weird that um thousands of people listen and that they would like easily recognize us in their town while they were drunk and uh and not be there for the same reason why we were there mm-hmm. but just recognize us in passing and it, yeah it's such it's a weird funny. feeling because mike is like like after that happened mike was like you're famous and i'm like no i'm not stranger knew who you were kind of but i'm not it doesn't feel like i feel like I don't ever feel like anybody even actually listens to this. Like it's always like (laughs) mind blowing to me that people actually follow this, Uh you know? Yeah. So I never like put it in the terms of, you know, this is not something that it's not work to me. You know what I mean? This is me hanging out with you. Right. And we're sitting here talking and it's been part of our relationship since forever. Yeah. And so for, for me, it's just like weird when somebody's like, you, 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 you're Zomi, right? <laughs> so Zoila. Zoila. Yeah. Did I tell you guys that story? Did I tell you that a client kept calling me Zoila? Was that recent? Yeah. And I just, and I've been I like, uh, I've been correcting her for years, so uh-huh. I'm just like not going to do it anymore. Yeah. And just allow her to call me Zoila. What do you do when somebody doesn't commit your, your shit to memory like that? I don't give a fuck. Whatever. You can't give a fuck. If you get upset about that kind of shit, you're just like, you know what it is? A lot of people are just in their own world and don't even think, because at at some point, because it wasn't even my client. That's first and foremost. Second of all, um, they don't care. It's like going to the gas station. They are. You got to go to the gas station to keep the car running. You got to cut your hair to keep having a job. Yeah, I mean, so you're just there sure. and it's like talking to a gas pump and the gas pump talks back <laughs> and the gas pump is very nice and very helpful yeah has so much good insight uh-huh. will give you you know the difference is the gas pump doesn't give you suggestions that could lead to a better life mm-hmm. or meeting the love of your life right. or getting the job right gas yeah. pump doesn't suggest how to make yourself more attractive some people just don't give a fuck yeah and that's fine yeah. that's fine yeah and that's, it's being okay with that. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't give a shit. So many problems in the world could be mm-hmm. alleviated by people. Not giving a fuck. Not give, or giving way less of a fuck. Mm-hmm. If you're totally good with yourself, you're way less affected by um, the way other people treat you yeah. a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. I've noticed that. Because I used to be very unhappy with myself, not to brag. Mm-hmm. And everything that everybody said uh, would affect me at mm-hmm. certain parts of my life. The people who outwardly didn't like me mm-hmm. would affect me a lot. The people who did like me, but I would take things that they said in the wrong way just because I didn't feel Gucci gang about myself. Yeah. And as Gucci. soon as you start to love yourself and be comfortable with yourself, everything that everybody says matters less. Yeah. Sometimes. It's my favorite. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Zoila. Yeah, Zoila. So next time you see him on the street, give her whatever name you want. It won't matter. Because <laughs> she'll know. She'll know her name and that's all that matters. Mm-hmm.